Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're looking at a CRKT or Columbia River Knife and Tool model. This one's discontinued. This is the 7353 Elox Starlight. All right, this one was made in Taiwan. I recently got this in a trade and uh, I'm not gonna be using this knife, so it's not a review of it. It's more of just a, um, you know, first impressions, more of a reference, if anything else. So if people search this knife on YouTube, you can see a video on it. So, uh, yeah, this was uh, thrown in as a bonus in a trade, which was very nice. This is unfortunately no longer available, and this has the E-Lock, all right? So looking at the uh, design here, pretty cool. It's a Leishowitz design. Um, I do like this kind of starburst thing that's going on here. It's kind of, you know, these rays are all shooting out every which way. Then there's some step downs on here, and then like a flat surface. There's another solid step down on both sides, which is just interesting. Uh, there is a flipper on here. There is a ambidextrous thumb stud, or at least it looks like that. Those are actually blade stops. Okay, keep that blade from stopping <laughs> once it's open. Uh, the lockup is fantastic. No wiggle in any direction. All right, and this is the e-lock. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on this. You can actually see it from the back. All right, so this basically just pivots. So when I push this in, you can see it's moving that piece on the inside out of the way of the blade. All right, and there's also a track here. All right, and that track is what this piece, the end of the lock here, sets into, which works as a detent. Okay, so it keeps the, the knife, you know, closed. So it's not going to accidentally open. All right, as far as the, uh, the flipper goes, of course, this knife is new, so it's a little bit stiff. We get a little bit of wrist on there. You can certainly open that. So just as a quick note here, uh, when you're using the flipper, all right, you want to make sure your finger or thumb is not resting on this actual e-lock here. All right, because as this knife opens, you can see the front will push down and the back will pop up. All right, that's how the lock is engaging, just like so. All right, so obviously if your thumb's on top of it, when you're trying to flip it open, it's going to prevent it from locking. All right, so you want to put your thumb on either side of that lock. It seems a little bit easier to put it on the left side here. All right, because the knife is a little bit new, it's a little bit stiffer, so you need a little bit of wrist to get that to pop open. But yeah, I mean, once it's open, locks up very nicely. Long slender blade here. This is the combo edge version. Of course, there's also a plain edge version. All right, this is a 3.25 inch blade made out of AUS 8 stainless steel. And the overall length is 7.3 inches. Um, this comes to a nice clip point, very long slender blade here, which is really nice. Now, if you look close, the blade is hollow ground, all right, but when we look on the other side here, we can see there's barely any bevel, all right, so it almost looks chisel ground, all right, but I'm saying it's hollow ground. The actual blade here itself um, which you can feel and maybe see if you have a trained eye but like I said the bevel is heavily on one side and barely on the other side all right so it's not a traditional like v-grind or anything like that but it does come extremely sharp out of the box and ready to go uh, pretty cool knife just something a little bit different I do like this for my um, interesting knife mechanism collection which we'll see in the future uh, but again you know this is just first impressions as far as the uh, pocket clip here very slender little pocket clip uh, which is set up for a tip down right side carry uh, and no way to swap that to any other position. All right, we do have an interesting large decorative pivot screw. If you can see, or if I zoom in, you can see that it's just a uh, Torx head. Okay, these extra little knobs in there are pretty much just designs, but you can just use a regular old Torx bit to get that out. But just, yeah, I mean, it's a super cool knife. I do like this kind of rounded, fluted. Um, you know, backspacer that they have on here. It's also very lightweight, the whole thing. So there you go, guys. Just want to make a dedicated video on this model for people to reference in the future in case they got one and wanted to look it up a little bit and know a little bit more about it. Well, now you do. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. I wish they come back with the E-Lock. I think it's just kind of different and unique. Um, but that's just how it goes. There's millions and millions of knives out there. And uh, whether they're cool or not cool, whether they're popular or not popular, Eventually, they just stop making them. People are just constantly doing new things, you know, so sometimes it's a little bit harder to find these pretty cool, interesting old knives. But greatly appreciated by the person who uh, threw this in on the trade. Um, I think it's pretty cool. So that's it. Just wanted to make a quick video on this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.